welcome to the first ever episode of Night Talk here at St. Andrews University. My name is Coach Michael Morgan. We're here with Aaron Vaughn. Uh, first off, Aaron Vaughn, we just wanted to say congrats on your bid to Nationals. Uh, before we get this started, we are all wondering, who is Aaron Vaughn? Um, well, I describe myself as a man of character. Uh, I believe it's uh, what you do behind the scenes and what you do in front of people. Now, what is your record this year? I am currently 10-2. Okay, yeah, that's really good. Now, what about your career record? Uh, I am 28 and Definitely good enough to get to Nationals, that's for sure. Uh, now, where exactly will Nationals be this year? Uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, so that's, that's quite the trip. Now, are you guys, yeah. you guys driving? Or? No, we're flying. Okay, you excited? Yeah, flying. Yeah. excited about that? My first flight. Uh, you can do it again at That's that's big. That's big time. Yeah. Um, now, when will it start? Uh, it starts the third, March March third, Friday. Goes on to Saturday the fourth. That's that's really good. And we're we're so proud to be here at St. Andrews. We can't even tell you enough. Um, now, when did you exactly recognize your love for wrestling? Um, I've been wrestling since I was five, six years old. Uh, I really didn't pick it up and. I really loved it until about the grade. Um, I kind of just did the sport and thought it was fun. But I really loved it. Big Craig came around, really loved it. I started playing like football and wrestling back and back. Um, started getting into the actual weird moves and learning the actual moves. That's what I picked up. Just being a physical person on that and then on the football field translated to me a lot. Um, you know, shows, shows a man what he can do. One on one, and also the team. Definitely. Um, now you said, you know, as people know around here, he plays football. He's a standout football player as well. Now, being a dual athlete, uh, when did you find your love for football? Uh, had to be right around like eight or nine years old. I used to uh, wear the football, NFL football jersey that the players are not the most. I just have like two or three or more and go out in the front yard and I throw it to myself. Uh, so it's just, that's why I knew I loved the game and football. I didn't need anybody else to play with me. I had a little play by myself. That's what my dad did to like went outside. Right? So, but it's just me. I, I liked it. I, I stayed outside 20, it was 24 hours in a day. I stayed outside 20 hours. You know, I always had football in my hand. So, that's right around 10 years old. I realized I loved it. That's awesome, man. Um, now tell us uh, what it's like to be a dual sport athlete and kind of give us some challenges as well as some benefits of being a dual sport athlete. Um, ever since high school, being a dual sport athlete was a challenge, but it's, like, it's kind of an honor as well. It's, you kind of show that you know, uh, anybody can play one sport and be good at it. But, you know, when you become a master at those sports, I wouldn't say a master, but really good at both sports. Ever since high school, many people know I won a state championship in both sports in high school. And, uh, and then when I left high school, I was always wanted to do it in college. So like, if I did in college, it's like the top elite of amateurs. You know, so like, if I did it there, I could call myself an elite and do this for an athlete. So like, I would say the biggest challenge is uh, time management. <laughs> You know, always have you always have something to do. You really have no downtime, and then when your downtime does come around, there's always something you know, ask him or something else to do that you can help improve, especially in those sports all the time. Um, a really big plus, I would say, is that almost everybody knows you. You know, you know around campus, about city, or state. You know, and, um, I kind of love that. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm not always outgoing, but. Uh, I love to hear people come up to me, and I love that I make an impression of somebody, especially somebody here. Gotcha. And we know that you're a, a big guy on campus here, and uh, we were just wondering as well, uh, what was it like uh, when you found out you knew that you were going to Nationals, and, and how did the people around here react? You know that you've got a lot of friends on campus, and uh, what was that? What was 
that support system like when you found out that you uh, sealed your bid at Nationals? Um, well, I found out the day of the conference tournament. Um, the conference tournament didn't go as likely as I wanted to, but uh, still got my, my bid to go, still got the honor to go. And, uh, and I was excited, but I didn't show it. I uh, still kind of bummed out. I had, to, I had a long bus ride home. Thought about it, thought I got home, got a good night's sleep in. Thought about it, was like, you know, you still got one more chance. Um, and same thing in high school, same thing that happened here, it's happened in high school to me all the time. You know, I've always made it to the dance, but I've always improved before then. So I just told myself, put a lot of hard work in the next two weeks, and you know, we gotta grind it out, you'll be there. Always been told the cream always rises to the top of the drop. And so, I mean, I feel like I'm cream sometimes. And it always comes out. And uh, I, mean, I was excited for sure. I didn't show it. Um, my parents were the first ones to show really real emotion. You know, they, they text me, call me up every day in a sense, ask me how I'm feeling. You know, are you okay? You know, are you ready? Are you nervous? You know, give me millions of questions, you know. Um, and everybody around campus is. Congratulating, congratulating me and saying, you know, good job, you know, I'm glad you're going, you know, it's like, it's kind of crazy thinking that I'm the only person right now that's been in national this year. Um, probably, I don't know, last year. Well, you're, you're, uh, <laughs> you're representing the school in a big way, that's that's for sure. Oh, yeah. um, now, who who's helping you, uh, who's helping you along the way? Who do you owe your success? Um, had to be my parents, for sure. Um, I know for sure, uh, give me, yeah, I got to put my mom first, <laughs> I always got to put my mom first, um, she's been everywhere, she's been there in times my dad couldn't, she's been there for me and my brothers, um, you know, love her a lot, you know, we butt heads sometimes, but, you know, she's always been there, she's, you know, even when my dad, you know, can't really, he's not there, she's there, um, but, my dad has to be my dad. You know? He's been there in the background some sort of way. He's always been pushing me. Been that, you know, been that kind of rock thing behind you. He's never going to break it. You know, he knows you will at some point, but he's going to pick you up and keep you there. Um, sure, them two, right off the bat. I'd say my brother uh, wouldn't be here where I'm at now for a little time. Uh, he went off to college, came back, he taught me a lot, showed me a lot, you know, kind of learned from his mistakes. And you know, took his positive and tried to make him better for sure. Um, and then my coaches I've had, almost every single coach I've had has seen, I don't, know, I don't know what they see in me, but they've seen something that you know, made them think that I could be, I could be great right there. Yeah, you know, somewhere early in the business or something like that. And my high school football coach put a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's really not a word in him. He saw something really special. He always told me that you know, I was going to be that guy one day. You know, uh, like that. Uh, I took that to the right way, especially and also my high school wasn't much. He was always there. Awesome, awesome. Um, what advice would you give uh, to all of the kids out there chasing the dream? Um, you know, to like me, whatever your dream is, comes down to you know, like never lose, never, never lose sight of it. You definitely come off tracks, for sure. You will take left and right, go around up and down bridges, go to the top of the railroad across, and things like that. But, you know, always have the sight. You know, it can be just a light, you know, it can be the North Star. You know, I'm, honestly, I, I've been right stuff down everywhere I go. Just little stuff, I'm national champion, conference champion, all American, all American, um, top D line, top D tackle. Uh, you know, just just little stuff. I mean, it, it, some people aren't goal setters. I was never a goal setter either. But I just I realized that I just keep that putting that on my mind, putting it on my mind. And my dream is going to keep coming in closer and closer. And uh, whatever your dream is, no matter what it is, don't be anything about sports. Always have it in the sight of mind. You know, even if you come off track, just know that your dream is still reachable, it's still there. Uh, I took two years. Yeah, too. Kept my dream in sight, but I was off.
two years. Um, went to school my freshman year, didn't play sport. Sophomore year, just played football. And now, my junior year, wrestling and playing football. So, uh, I got back to my track. I was always one big dual sport athlete. And the next set is the uh, All American in both. And, uh, especially when I have to change. That's good stuff, man. That's really good stuff. Um, we know that you're going to represent the university very well. Uh, we have no, no question about that. Uh, one last question. Uh, what's next for Aaron Ball and after Nationals? Uh, I don't know, a little downtime. Got a week off. Um, but it goes right back into the grind. Um, like I said, I want to be all American play sports, so there's really no downtime. You know, even my week off of between two sports. It's I'll still be thinking, at least thinking about what I need to improve on. If not already out there trying to improve on it. Um, doesn't matter if I got pads on the back that I walk around thinking of different moves to hit different ways to, you know, show put my power a certain way and even on the rest of that, different ways to combine moves together to show like to put it in my head, you know, if I see it in my head, I can eventually start doing it in real life. Yeah. I've always been a big, big person in life. You know. If I see it in my head, I can see it in real life. So, um, that'll be back to the ground, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so, who knows back to it, man. Um, I'll be ready for August. All around. All ready for the Aaron, best of luck, man. We really appreciate you taking your time out of your business schedule for the night to come, come meet with us and do this interview. And first ever, ever episode of, of Night Talk. And uh, thank you guys and be looking for us again for the for the next episode. Please wish Mr. Vaughn good luck as he takes nationals. Sign it off.